Hello and welcome to SnowRunner News. I'm UK Gamer 808 and today we're looking at the bug fix which is supposedly coming next week. Now this bug fix is for the phase 5 which was dropped a while ago now and we did have quite a few problems as we always will when new phases are dropped but it seems to be they're not bothered about sorting out any bugs for co-op i've seen i all see lists of we fix this we fix that but there nothing ever seems to be your co-op now you can see in the video at the moment we were having issues in this video itself we were having issues where i couldn't see one of our mods but everyone else could and it was a bit of a strange one and you see with the um with the jammy dodger 4 before that had issues with some of the add-ons for it not sure what the hell that was going on with but it was just in the game we were messing around it so hopefully we can get these problems resolved but i don't think it's going to happen because they don't team seem to fix any bugs on co-op it's always on single player now if you're playing on single player and you're new to snowrunner you probably won't experience that many bugs because the co the main bugs are in synchronization where there's different things are happening on different people's screens now saying that next week it looks like we're going to get the update the huge update apparently it's not a huge update it's just an update to for a bug fix now, they there was some stuff, but I think it was put out on Facebook, and they showed what they're going to fix and all this. But to be honest, when, there's no point even going through all that because it didn't come from um, Saber or or Focus themselves. So we're better off just waiting and see what the patch notes. And we know what these patch notes say. They say they fix this and fix that, and then we actually go and check, and it's not fixed. So that is what is pending for next week. It's been a long time coming, and I'm hopefully we can get back on the game because i haven't really been playing snow run over the last few weeks i've been hit, hitting battlefield d when that came out and just been on american truck simulator and i've just been modding so i've been in snow runner just looking at the mods and whatever but that is about it actually playing their game we haven't bothered so hoping for a bug fix to come out this week and that might resolve some of the issues on the next phase right so next off we hear of the phase six the hall and hustle now that is scheduled for release well they were saying originally it was going to be december time and they really need to bring that out before december if they don't bring it out before december time then there's going to be a lot of people not going to be playing snow run anyway as there's a vast amount of games coming out in the next well coming out in the next what six seven weeks really there's quite a few games i'm interested in with fs22 coming out and then battlefield i'm going to be playing that on a regular basis probably only twice a week something like that but that's more for playing with some subscribers where i'm going to have my own server and whatever so really looking forward to that and i want to get back into snow runner so they're talking the pts is going to be coming next month so they were, uh, we were hoping it was going to be this month but it doesn't seem to be the devs have done their first playthrough on the new map and the, all they've told us about the new map that it is bigger than the don region which isn't very hard really as the don region was tiny let's hope it's got more contracts and more missions on it because this is the main thing guys want so then you don't finish a map within a few days but we'll have to wait and see on that because you know what it's like we're always sat waiting for the next bit of content coming and it's always going to be like this so hopefully it will come on the pts next month and then they were talking about it, it was going to release on december and they need to do that they really do if they don't we're going to be um there's lots of people leaving there's loads of people have left already i get comments every few days saying i haven't played this for months on end and what have you and i thought i'm not surprised I really am not surprised. I do enjoy playing on co-op, but with the issues we're having, then it's not worth it. It just gets annoying. It is funny for the first little bit of it, but after that, it just gets annoying. So there you go. So hopeful for a bug fix to drop next week. Normally comes at the start of the week, and that would be nice if it did. Now, moving on to mods. I haven't been covering mods lately, as I have been. I started doing nights a few weeks ago. I'm back off nights now. But um, there hasn't been a lot core for me doing mods at the moment, as I don't see lots of people asking for it. And the community has died down quite a bit. So if it's something you want me to do, then I might think about doing it on a, a weekly basis. And what we're going to do at the moment is I think every week I will do a snow running news to keep you updated on the weekend of anything what's happened in the week. However, not a lot happens nowadays. So that's why i am really been doing many videos. Now going over to 828 Modding, which is our modding group, which we set up quite a while ago now. 
and we've got quite a few mods coming out of that and we're also going to be starting off patron access for a lot of our pc mods and all this helps bring in some extra money so we can buy some more models well not that we need more models we've got a huge amount of models between us all at the moment you're talking well we can never mod everything we've got so now mods coming out this month from 808 modding um i know iceberg wants to get out his six for six sander bruiser now so that'll be coming i want to get the offender out but i'm still bloody waiting on that i'm so sick of waiting for that thing so i'll probably have another defender as i've got a couple of defenders i've already built and i've also got the chevy i haven't got pictures in the video of that but i will do a separate video i've done a few videos already showing you what's going on with that I'm not sure what to release first because at the moment the Chevy, the, I've called it the, the 808 Chewy. Now that is a Silverado and that one seems to be coming along really well. And that one will probably be ready before everything else. So I might bring that one out first and then bring the Range Rover out second. As I've got a few little issues with that. And I, with modding, what you find is that if you've got issues with one, you move on to another mod and then you'll come back to that at a later date. This is the way it seems to be. But uh, I prefer it like that, and then you just don't spend hours trying to work something out, which some would half the time somebody can show you how to fix it in five or ten minutes. So that's why the Villers on the back burner. So I'm hoping my first mod release will be the Chevrolet Silverado, aka the 808 Chewy. That will probably be the first one I'm going to bring out next. But it depends how we're getting on, really. I'd love to know your thoughts on which one you'd like to see first. And anyone who says, oh, I'd like to see the Offender, yep, I'd like to see that one too. But until the textures are fixed on that, then there's nothing that you can do. It's out of my hands. All the other mods are in our hands, and we're starting to work out how to do a lot of different textures now, which is been holding a lot of our mods up so it's something we had to sort of use somebody else to do so we're learning a lot of that so we can crack on with it ourselves and get these mods out here now a part of 808 modding is that all our mods will come out to console the obviously the branded versions will be available for for patron um patron members only and then anything else anything unbranded will come to console is as simple as that now like i said we have got a huge list uh, there's getting on for about 14 mods in the pipeline which are actually in the game at the moment but they all need finishing so that's what we've got to crack on with and the help of being able to put put new textures on vehicles makes a big difference right oh that's it for today's snow runner news i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did maybe i'll see you on the next one big thanks for watching till next time goodbye